Welcome to another episode of 31 Days of Capture One. In today's episode, we'll be looking at skin tone correction with emphasis on dark skin. Most of the times, you realize after shooting that the subject's skin has different tones, which is normal. The average skin has different skin tones at various parts. Also, makeup adds to some of these uh, discrepancies. Sometimes you have the face which has makeup you know, having a different tint than the other parts of your subject's body, which is very normal. So I'll teach you how to use Capture One to effect that kind of correction. Once again, thanks to all my subscribers and those who keep on supporting me. You guys are really wonderful. I really appreciate you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet and you're watching this, kindly go ahead and click on subscribe and hit the bell so you don't get to miss any of my upcoming uploads. This picture has been raw processed already and it's very clean but if we look at this place see her shoulder has more of yellow than her face which has makeup so we'll be correcting this using capture one it's quite simple and easy there are a couple of ways we can do it we can as well leave this and then do the correction in photoshop but i prefer doing my skin tone correction in capture one before moving to photoshop with this particular image her skin tone is way outside the color range of the backdrop apart from this little box over here so we can just go ahead sample her skin tone and then apply it, but a bit will go into this so i'll go ahead and do the normal procedure which is creating a layer mask around her skin where we want the changes to effect by doing so we are restricting the effect to only the parts that we have selected so we'll go ahead and create a mask around her skin to limit the effect of whatever we are going to do to her skin only to create a mask hit b on your keypad it gives you the brush and then hit m to reveal the mask so by doing so we have our brush enabled with the brush tool selected and our mask enabled let's zoom in a bit and start painting on her face So you can see the mask being displayed in red. But I'll just carefully select her skin. This being a tutorial, I won't be that careful. So I'll just overlap in some places. But then you need to be very precise. You can reduce or increase the size of the brush as you go along we have our selection made as you can see so i'll go ahead and disable the mask let's go ahead and complete our main task here we go to the color tab and scroll down to we come across the color editor over here we have three tabs here the basic advanced and skin tool i'll cover the other two in another tutorial but today our main concern is on skin tool so we have this uh, color picker here we pick it and then let's zoom in a bit so we can clearly select a color we want to work with so her face has uh, makeup so i wouldn't um, trust any of the colors there so i'll prefer something somewhere here something neutral so once i pick it there see it, it shows me the selected color range over here so this is something we can do if you want to be sure you're within the range just come down here to view selected color range click on it and it grays out every color that's outside that range so as I said earlier, this box will contain some of the skin tones and it's true, it has part of it. But then because we've applied a mask to only her skin, it won't affect the box. So with this, we are sure that her whole skin tone is within range. So we can disable this and go back here. Now this is where the magic happens. We have uniformity. So let's zoom in a bit. This is 25%. At least we get to see everything as we go on. This is where the magic happens. Under uniformity, we have the hue, saturation, and lightness. Hue basically is color. Saturation is how deep or 
light that color is lightness is how bright or dark it is basically so let's go to hue and then bump it all the way up now as we go to the right it goes towards magenta see you won't see a lot of difference here because the skin tone is almost close like because the skin tones are almost even here it's just a little difference so let's bump this all the way up take saturation all the way up you can see the image is already getting oversaturated and then take lightness all the way up you see the difference now her skin is much more smoother which is a bit which is much more fake so let's take it all the way back and then do it gently so let's take this somewhere to the middle there is no formula as to what values you can use for what image it varies per image all the images here if i should um, do this for them i won't have to use the same value because one the mask will be different because of the various poses and the skin tone because of the light hitting it it will be different at certain places so i can't use the same settings for all the images that's something you should note so now saturation do you want it deep or light i think we should go a bit deep as we go deeper you can see there are changes taking place now let's deal with lightness do you want it light or this i like contrast so i think i'll keep it this way so you see here we have 52.3 51.8 and 37.9 these values will not be the same as the ones you apply to a different image so don't memorize the values rather memorize the process how it's done we are doing all this under uniformity now if we zoom out and look at this image we see that now her face has the same tone as her hand first the hands were yellow that kind of color and the face was a bit magenta but now we've been able to match her face to her shoulder now let's just do a quick before and after this is the new layer that we've applied the correction to so let's just disable this this is before this is after before after it looks too wild for me so this is the sweetness in capture one everything that we apply here comes in layers so we can reduce the opacity of this layer just like in photoshop so let's say if this was too strong for us we take it somewhere 60 percent then do before and after this looks quite good to me so i'll just leave it here and then with this we continue with our normal stuff now don't forget that this was done on a separate layer we can rename this layer to something meaningful skin tone and life is good so if we want to work on the background layer we just click on background and our previous settings have all been preserved here this new layer has only the skin tone corrections that we made so we can disable it this is before and this is now let me zoom in once again and do a before and after so you guys can see the magic this is before this is after before and after so basically this is how you correct skin tones in capture one isn't it easy very very easy you don't have to go and waste more time in uh, photoshop doing this simple thing that you can do in capture one this is the reason why i would invite all of you to at least give capture one a try <laughs> yeah 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 i know i'm a capture one evangelist so you can just give it a try you should go ahead and click the subscribe button and hit the bell because we have more tutorials coming up and you wouldn't want to miss any of them. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for watching.